live from USA. This is the boast of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, then you must not like money. Let's go. First of all, I just wanted to say we are officially seven videos in, 423 subscribers. That's an amazing thing right now. We got an awesome community. Uh, we're going to go through some questions a little bit later. So if you're in on this live broadcast right now, I need you to hit that thumbs up button, get in this chat room. Let's let's start a conversation. You know, I'll shout your country out, shout you out. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, hit the thumbs up button right now. What that does is that lets YouTube know that we're live on the air and that way everybody else can see this uh, video as we're doing it. Uh, the stock, um, the uh, topic that I wanted to cover today is Ripple. You see the title right there. Uh, is it true? I don't know. The jewelry is still the jury is still out. Uh, but one thing we know for sure is that this thing is ready to make a move. And by the time we're done uh, going over this technical analysis right here, you will uh, see exactly what we're talking about, and you will agree as well. So let's get started. Um, with Ripple, again, we're on the four-hour chart. Uh, this is tradingview.com. I will have uh, a link to another video that actually has all of uh, the different sites I use, and you can click on that, and that'll take you directly to uh, the different sites. We got TradingView, we got Twitter, we got uh, Coinbase, Poloniex, um, a few different platforms, Google Pages, Google Plus, Google Hangouts. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Google Doc or a Google Drive uh, for you guys. So one of the questions I had for you, I actually posted it as a comment. And that question is, what platform, what digital platform or social media do you guys use most often other than YouTube? What I want to try to do is get a group together either on Facebook, um, TradingView, Google, whatever it is, uh, comment in the live chat for me. Um, so we could we could come up with something together and we'll organize a community on there, whether it's Slack, you know, these different platforms. So uh, comment that and we'll get it together. First things first with Ripple. What do we want to do? We want to go high to high, right? And where do we do that from? If you zoom out, you can see that we have two prominent points right there and right there. And because these are high lines, what I like to do um, to show that this is a, a good trend, right? We're getting stronger. I like to put those in green, okay? And once we have that line, it's set. Uh, all we do, copy, Command C, and paste, Command V. And then we move this line to where Ripple started to break out. It started to break out right about there. You see that? So along this time, and this is a solid channel right here, along this time, this is the lifespan of Ripple. When it got out of that line, it said, oh my goodness, I'm outside my comfort zone. I need to come back inside the zone. And now uh, we are to what I'd like to call a decision point. You'll see that in a second too. It's another line we're gonna draw, and this is the most recent trend. So, so right here, this green channel right here is our long-term trend. This is a long-term support channel. Ripple has been up over time, so you can see that big green space in the middle is going up. But most recently, Ripple has been down. So what we do here is we go low to low. Um, and if we look at the bottom, um, the way you the way you do this, I like to use uh, blue lines for uh, my lower support levels, my downtrends. So the way you do that is you just go low to low right there. Okay, the bottom of those candles. Command C, Command B, and now we see that Ripple, for the most part, that's not the right one. Sometimes this acts kind of tricky. I'm just trying to see. For the, most, for the most part, has been living 
inside this line. And I don't, honestly, I don't like that line right there. When I drew this before, it came up a lot better. I'm just trying to see, it looked like, okay, so we did the first two. I went to that last one, but if we do this one right there, low to low, it should line up a lot better on our four hour. So you see that low to low, and I go in the middle of them. So it kind of captures all the data that's inside. Command C, Command B. That's a lot better. And you see how this thing uh, rides that blue line, right? It's not necessarily perfect, but it does give you a solid area um, that, that is accurate. Long story short, we'll move that down to capture all the extremes, the low points. Long story short, Ripple's in a downtrend right now, right? And it needs to make a decision. What will this decision be right now? It's basically what I think it's done. It's literally run itself into the ground. This bottom green channel right here is the ground. Ripple's life has not gotten lower than that. So if it breaks through the bottom of that line, it's gonna hit the floor and quite quite possibly it won't stop. You know, it might have a chance to stop there. Uh, if we draw a couple horizontal uh, support levels, you know, it might stop there. Uh, it doesn't really look like it has much support after that. So what I'm, what I'm saying right here, and, and the name of the title is right now is, a perfect time to watch the all CNI and and to understand what's really going on with this stock and to see what happens next because in the next few days here something's gonna happen and it's either gonna break up or it's gonna br break down or it's gonna break out and so these are kind of kind of the trades that I like to just look at and if you think about that magic eye right there they say those those people see everything they always know what's going on so for ripple right now it's definitely a time for you guys to look at it observe and really understand what's going on uh so you can be in a better situation if you if you want to buy it if it's ready to jump i'll let you guys know once it breaks down i'll let you guys know but you know that's why we have that symbol right there because it's the all seeing guy it, we will be enlightened by what happens next because we we know it's coming uh, and that's exactly what this chart proves it's it's not an action trade like we saw on dash uh where it's ready to break out it's really just setting up to decide and once it decides either way the chart will tell us and we'll be able to make some money on it um if we look in our comments uh, i tell you guys you know I, i'm on the comments literally all day every day so you know whenever you have a question don't be shy just jump in there you know there is the only the only dumb question is one that is left unasked and so one of the questions that we had uh, from one of our community team members um, wouldn't USD chart be more accurate and this is this is I've, I've been asked this a few times and whenever I give the explanation people are like oh wow that's really cool yeah I get it so I wanted to take time to go over this with everybody real quick the reason uh, I don't use USD charts and what they're referring to is uh, trading view on trading view for example you can look at ripple compared to Bitcoin or you can look at ripple compared to the dollar right and if you look at the dollar that's not even doesn't even give us a lot of information uh let's try cracking oh is that cracking okay let's do uh ethereum usd so because it gives you the chance to look at a a, a currency a cryptocurrency it gives you a chance to either look at it as compared to bitcoin or compared to the US dollar. So this is Ethereum compared to the US dollar. And you can see this thing is just rolling, right? It, it doesn't look like it's a bad time to buy it at all. It looks like it just took a little break. It's at support and it might keep going. It has enough momentum behind it against the dollar to keep going. But when we 
put it over to a Bitcoin comparison, um, it looks a lot different. So when we when we zoom in on this thing uh, compared to the Bitcoin, it's nowhere near as strong as it was compared to the dollar. You know, it's been actually on. Where was it? It jumped out, but it's more or less trending right at its support line. So it's slowly going up over time. If we drew, you know, a line of what this thing grows over time, you know, it's it's just a slow grow angle, you know, a slow growth curve. But compared to the dollar, it looks like it's ready to go to the moon. And the reason why I don't compared to the dollar is because once we cross over into the Bitcoin world, the dollar no longer matters. The only thing that matters is Bitcoin because the one thing we know, and it's, it's different calculators you guys can look up, uh, but the one thing we know is that over time, because inflation, because the powers that be choose to print more money than we actually have in the system, this causes the money that we have today to be worth less and less and less and less. They say it's 3%. Some people say it's 12%. I happen you know, to have reason to believe it may be between 5 and 7%. So essentially what that means is when you compare it to the dollar, you're going to lose 5 to 7% every year. What does that look like? What I wanted to do is a quick, quick comparison. We start with $100. We say this is 2017 today. In 10 years, with a seven, eh, let's do 5%, because you know I think it's higher. Some people say it's four, five to be safe. In 10 years, our $100 will cost us $162 to get back. What does that mean? That means that our money has decreased its purchasing power by 62% in just 10 years. The old, uh, one of the old quotes used to be that, you know, every 30 years, the price of everything doubles, you know, and that's, you know, if it was, uh, I'm pretty sure they were considering this thing to be 3%. I don't even know how they got that number, but that used to be a quote. Um, I don't even think yet yeah, because see that's two and a half times so that doesn't even work anymore They were they were just screwing with the numbers saying inflation was something like two percent, right? That might work, but we know that inflation is nowhere near this low And so we're actually in a system now to where every seven to ten years the cost of everything doubles So why do I say this? I say this because in ten years we know that our $100 is only going to be worth $50 due to inflation. But with Bitcoin in 10 years, how much do you think it'll be worth? That's why I don't chart to the dollar. I don't make cryptocurrency decisions based off the US dollar. I make it based off Bitcoin because I want my future net worth to be measured in Bitcoin, not in the US dollar. That's the biggest reason why and Bitcoin cannot be manipulated by centralized uh, exchange portals, by, by commercialized financial institutions. It is a free market that individuals have the opportunity to participate in. I think that's what you guys know, and that's why I'm here, to help you make money. We've all been given this chance to buy this once in a lifetime commodity at ridiculously low levels. Bitcoin, in five years, we'll be looking back and, and we will say, I wish I would have bought more. And I'm telling you right now, with, with these kind of trades setting up, you will have that opportunity to make a lot more in this short term than you would just, you know, throwing money in other places. Uh, if you turn on CNN, they don't even talk about Bitcoin, um, you know. And I don't want to use too many of these trigger words um, to uh, 
flag this flag this account. I, I like to just focus on the money. Um, so yeah, that's why that's why I don't convert to the dollar. Uh, Bitcoin is king, especially in the crypto world, and it will be huge. So when we do these trades, we don't care what it what what it charts at against the U.S. dollar. All we care about is BTC. With that being said, guys, that's all I got for you right now. Uh, this is your boy BK. Again, getting them comments. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what platform you want to set up a community on, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Google Pages, whatever you guys do. Um, you know, we can we can get it together. I'll be in the uh, comments a little bit later, uh, responding back to your questions. You all have a good day, and I'll talk to you next time.